Well, 2021 is heating up in terms of the Paragon 2 race, and I did not expect this curveball to be thrown into the mix. It's not about fault, and it's not about predecessor. It is about Overprime today, as we talk about one of the biggest companies in Korea obtaining Team Soul Leave to make Overprime. Yeah. Who would have thought? It was announced today that global gaming giant Netmarble has acquired Team Soul Leave, the small group of indie developers which had been working on Overprime. Now, this article doesn't go into too much detail otherwise than saying that the members will still continue to work on Overprime, with Netmarble looking to join the PC esports market in the near future. If you guys want a link to the full article, it will be in the description below. But this is insane. For those of you who have no idea who Netbarble is, which was me, like five seconds ago, they are a massive, massive mobile game publisher based out of Korea. And the, the just how massive are these people? I mean, they made so many games. I think their most notable game is like Seven Deadly Sins or something. It's about the anime. But they have a lot of money that's all you really need to know and that's why this is so important because if overprime gets this amount of backing behind it they can actually do something they can actually make this a bigger reality than maybe even they themselves initially thought because this is a lot okay the number 15 ranked by forbes richest person in korea is the founder of this company he's no longer the ceo but he is a 25 percent shareholder as of 2018 in this company he is worth 2.5 billion dollars and he built netmarble into a 1.3 billion dollar gaming empire with the the action blah blah, blah whatever asia and us now netmarble itself is divided into a bunch of smaller branches of game studios that focus on different things and the one that specifically acquired over prime is called netmarble fnc but that's still a massive amount of backing when it comes to money for overprime another fun fact just throwing it out there in case you guys were interested, there is another investor that has a pretty, pretty hefty stock in Netmarble. And I'll give you one really solid guess as to who that is. Hint, they had a very large percentage of stock in Epic Games as well. That's right, Tencent. Tencent has about 17% stock in Netmarble overall uh, as of 2018. So they took their fingers and put it back in to uh, the future of whatever overprime will end up becoming we'll see how much it changes we'll see how much it stays the same will it just become a mobile game entirely i don't know but it seems as though so far they want to keep it a pc game with promises of esports potential in the future this is a very big bit of information it's not the sexiest bit of information but it is pretty fucking massive in my opinion and the fact that uh, not more people are really talking about it is kind of shocking to me considering that this is the most amount of money we've seen pumped into any of the post-Paragon projects, at least a number that has sort of kind of been revealed. We know that Predecessor got funding from Epic Games' program uh, about a month ago. We are still waiting to see what Fault has in terms of investor status, but in terms of Overprime, they do have a lot of weight pushing behind them, and it's interesting to see what will happen. But um, all that said and done, where the, why is it not on Steam? Why is it not on Steam? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you have not already so you can be notified every time I make a video once a month. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day. Peace.